Hey everybody, I'm Dave from Grand Home Garden. Today in the garden, we're gonna plant two varieties of corn. We're gonna to start today with atomic orange. And after the atomic orange, we are gonna put in this one. It's a sweet corn, Stowell's Evergreen, okay? Both came from Baker Creek Seed. And we'll see how they do. I'm excited about the atomic orange, especially because it has a high amount of beta carotene, which actually makes the kernels look nice and orange. It'll be really kind of a different sort of thing, not the typical sweet corn that you get on the roadside. So we're gonna go through and do that. We have temperatures now that are above 60 degrees at night. So that's probably the best time. The ground soil temperature, you ideally want it to be right around 60 for planting your corn. And when you plant corn, you wanna plant it in a block so you get good cross pollination. It is wind pollinated, not insect pollinated. So you wanna make sure that you've got a good cross flow so that when your corn is blowing in the breeze, the tassels spread pollen back and forth and you get good pollination. So that's what we're up for today. Let's get into it. Now I actually started this project last night and I took the whole seed packet and I put them into some cups of water so they would be nice and full of water when we plant them. That's probably one of the most important things. You don't have to do this, but you want to make sure that they don't dry out after you've got them planted. So one way you do that is make sure that they're starting off right, that they get plenty of water for good germination. So that's step one. We also prepared the bed. So let me walk over to that bed and show you what we've got so far. So I had a tarp over this for a while, which when we pulled it off was very easy to finish the prep work. And so we cleared off any weeds that were there and just made kind of a block. It's about a 12 foot by 12 foot area. And we're gonna plant the corn about eight inches apart, three rows in this section here. And you plant your corn seed down about an inch in depth. So what we're gonna do is come in here, and I've already got this a little bit hoed, where we created little trenches for the corn. We're gonna stick the corn seeds in about eight inches apart as we go and then we'll come back and cover. And then I'm probably gonna come back and add some compost on top of it, and then we'll water it in really good. So those are the steps that we're gonna go for. And with this project today, I've got lots of help, so this should not take any time at all. Say hi, Ella. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just making our little trenches, making sure that we've got at least an inch of depth, and we're gonna plop the seeds down right in the bottom of the trenches. Piece of cake. So we went ahead and drained these. This is in a 1020 flat. I just dumped them out so that all the seeds would be just put in there. And this is what a completely hydrated corn seed will look like. They'll be all kind of shriveled up when you first get them. But if you soak them overnight, they look nice and perfect. Pretty much like what you just would have gotten off of a corn cob. So we're gonna take these over here to the garden area. We'll start on this end. And I'm going to have my kids working on this, but just to show them how to do this to start with and how easy it is to plant this corn, we're just going to stick it down there in the bottom of the trench. And we're going to do them about eight inches apart. We're not too worried about perfection here. And then we're going to come back and we're going to fill. So you guys see what I did right there? Go ahead and let's take care of that. Plopping them in. We may need to help correct Ella's <laughs> flopping of the corn seed and do the same ones in the second trench here. Okay, you'll put one here, Ella. There you go. Get another one to put there. Good job. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so next we're gonna fill these in. So come down and take a look here. All we gotta do is gently hoe the dirt that we'd already furrowed out. And we're gonna just backfill right over top of the seeds. Pretty easy. Now some of our spacing might be a little messed up, but it's good enough to get a nice block. And we're gonna do three more rows just like this right beside it. Make sure we have some good area for this corn to grow. Yeah, picking up some seeds. We picked up some seeds from this one. Well, if we knock something out, we can dig it back in. 
and just put that one in its place. So we'll come back, a little bit of compost on top of it, and tap that in. So we got the corn planted. Uh, after I did compost, I put in some blood meal on top of it, which has a high nitrogen value for an organic fertilizer. And nitrogen is something that corn needs, especially starting off the bat. So we're gonna water it in real good. We're gonna keep it nice and moist until germination. Probably be about a week before we see anything popping up. And hopefully after that, we'll see a lot of good growth on some corn. So that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching Growing the Home Garden on YouTube, and please subscribe and like for more garden stuff.